Welcome to part 28 of Sailor Moon Another Story. And in this episode, we are going to explore the other half of the Earth Kingdom, which is home to Endymion. That's probably the reason why it takes him a while to get to the Moon Kingdom, because he has to trudge through all that snow just to find the portal to get to the Moon Kingdom. Okay, I'm just kidding. Anyway, we are exploring the Moon Kingdom, and plot actually won't happen until that is we go to the meeting hall with all of the attendants because they are trying to contemplate their allegiances either to stay loyal to Mamoru and also keep up the alliance with the Moon Kingdom or join Queen Beryl and doubt the Moon Kingdom and eventually destroy it. If you watch Sailor Moon, guess what these guys are going to do? Yeah. <clears throat> it seems that Queen Beryl is just bamboozling the people and bolstering up her troops for an all-out assault. And unfortunately, Usagi had gave her the words of encouragement. You see, also, there are two treasure chests up there, and I won't be able to get them for some strange reason. And that reason is, these four are blocking the way. Unfortunately, it won't be until later events that I can come back and get these two treasure chests. In other words, Queen Beryl actually has to mount an assault on the Moon Kingdom first before I can come back and get the two treasure chests that's up there. Because if I'm not mistaken, the two treasure chests that are up there, one of them happens to be the Amphite earrings for Amara and the other. Uh, why did, I, why did I just say that? Why did I just say that? I meant the Amphite earrings for Uranus, and the other one happens to be the Amber earrings for Neptune. Either way, we need to leave this place because there's not much left to do here. We just have to go back to the Moon Kingdom and let the chips fall as they may, but also I can explore this palace and show off where the four guardians, or, or should I say, the four generals sleep. But <clears throat> in case this goes on too long, I'll just proceed with plot. But for the time being, yeah, I tried to do this again, and unfortunately those guys aren't moving. And now they're all pretty much, uh, contemplating an assault on the Moon Kingdom and the Earth Kingdom. Go figure. Let's see, there's only one place left to look. And, wait, not there. I've already been here. I've already been here. There's nothing else here. Oh, yeah, and they're talking about the butcher stores here. In other words, it seems like Mamoru couldn't even uh, organize the stack of books he had in the Moon Kingdom, let alone in his own apartment. Let's see, what's in this room? Oh, these are the General's rooms. This, this is the room where Kunzite is. And I think this is the room where Zoicide is. It's kind of ironic we're just barging into the general's room. Uh, also, Zoicide said the most suspicious thing. That there were five, uh... Sa there were five sailor soldiers here. Meaning the opposite of scouts has definitely came here looking for the Black Moon. Or should I say... Demondo because Sapphire is nowhere to be found right now for the time being. But their meddling is pretty much affecting time. Not just their meddling, but our meddling too. Still, that was Nephrite's room, and this is Jedi's room. Nice to see him alive and not burnt to a crisp or ran over by an airplane. You know, 
I'm gonna keep making fun of him for that. Anyway, we don't have anything else. Oh, wait, actually, we may have something else here. Nope, that's Mamaru's room. Let's leave. There's nothing else here. Let's just leave and get out of this place. Yeah, they're talking about this meeting, but they've already delap they've already elaborated what they're going to do, and we already know what they're going to do. So we might as well just get things under motion so we can actually get these guys away from the treasure chest. So yeah. Well, at least I hope we can. Let's just leave this castle. There's nothing else here. Now then. We will have to fight our way out of this area because of the fact that uh, there will be random encounters. And I'm sorry you're going to have to see random encounters. But we will be getting out of the North Pole for now. We'll have to come back here later, and thankfully I will be fighting through this off-screen the next time, because this time around it's just going to be short fights. And I had to heal everyone because, well, <coughs> this happened on the way to the castle, and I forgot to heal everyone. But good news, Saturn has leveled up, so now... She could actually stay in the party. Although I won't be able to say the same for Sailor Moon in a few minutes. Well, that is if I stop running into random encounters. But whatever the case, I'm going to have to get the uh, Sailor Soldiers with the lowest uh, level to actually come along in the party. Wait a minute, was that a treasure chest? Oh wait, no, that was open. I know what that was. Okay, we're gonna just run into these guys again, I see. Alright, this is gonna get old, I guess. Let's just get out of here. Nope. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm just gonna keep running into random encounters, aren't I? Seriously, stop using Whirlwind Cut! It's really annoying! Well, at least they die fast. And at least I'm getting a lot of yen out of this. I smell a shopping spree if I ever find another shop! Or if I find a shop with better items, that is. Alright! Now that we've returned to the Ark, now it's time to go back to the Moon Kingdom and let events fall as they may. And sure enough, Usagi has pretty much doomed her whole entire kingdom. Yep, I would have felt pity for Queen Beryl, but uh, no, she just wrecked everything. Yep, absolutely everything has been destroyed. Ah, oh, boy. But things have changed so drastically, you know, because of the opposite of Scouts' is meddling. I mean... Due to the fact that Beryl is even here, this would have been the set the stage where you actually fight her, right? Wrong. But first, pick up that moon shard there. We won't be able to go any further because, well, this place has been, you know, decimated. Yeah, you won't be able to do anything. There's cracked roofs everywhere. For now, you won't be able to do anything because you're going to be dragged to do a cutscene. 
And there is Sailor Moon's old self, which has just been abducted by Prince Demando of all people. And for those of you who don't know who Demando is, he is the leader, or supposed leader, of the Dark Moon family. Well, he tried to force himself upon Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon R. Yeah, he loves him some Sailor Moon, but the problem of the matter is, she don't love him back. And he was about to run off with uh, Sailor Moon's past self. So now, thanks to that, we have Sailor Moon missing in action for a while. Meanwhile, events are going as they may, and Sailor Moon and all the Sailor Soldiers are being reincarnated, while Princess Serenity is about to die in the process. Yeah, that is really sad, you know. And oh, there's those five. And it's going to get rough. So, with that said, we're going to have our hands full with these five running about. But we're not going to get to them just yet. Yeah, we are going to fight them. That's pretty much how Chapter 4 is going to end. But, not yet. There are a few things I want to do first, like for instance get those treasure chests before I miss out on them completely. <clears throat> and also, I want to get Uranus and Neptune out of the 20s and get them to a high enough level. Now then, this is Sapphire, uh, Emerald's brother, or should I say Blue Sapphire. Doesn't matter, but the fact is, He's the only voice of reason out of the Dark Moon family, and he knows that, and he knew back in Sailor Moon R that the wise man was an asshole. And now, his brother once again is being blinded by evil, and he's asking the Sailor Soldiers for help in order to actually save Sailor Moon and keep Demando from making a huge mistake. So now we're gonna have to choose a new team because of the fact that Sailor Moon is abducted for the time being. So that means if you want to grind up the rest of the Sailor Soldiers that are below level 34, now is a perfect time to do that. Because if you don't, the next couple of fights will be hard as hell. And God forbid the final battle. If you lose the final battle, you have to do a rematch with the final battle. However, whatever team you lost with won't be there. So you need all your Sailor Soldiers at an appropriate level in order for you to beat the game. And that's probably what I'm going to be doing off screen. But nonetheless, in the next episode, we will be trying to pursue Demando and getting Sailor Moon back. And also, hopefully, getting those treasures from the Dark Moon Kingdom. I mean, from, uh, the Earth Palace. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Why did I say the Dark Moon Kingdom? I'm getting Sailor Moon from the Dark Moon Kingdom. Or I should switch... You know what? I should switch Venus out for Mercury. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna put Mercury in place of Venus. In place of Venus. Ah, god damn it. No, 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 we're not doing that. Okay, maybe we are. But anyway, I'm gonna go to an end, and I'm gonna save. And in the next episode, I will more than likely have Uranus and Neptune at a high level. This is Army Man 95. See you guys next time.